Hey, howdy, hey, partner. Super excited because today I'm going to rate my top 10 favorite Toy Story villains of all time. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Coming in at number 10, Gabby Gabby. She is not my favorite villain from the Toy Story franchise, but I'll put her in the top 10 because she was definitely something that was surprising. She was somebody that was supposed to be a bad person, but then ended up being a good person. So the twist in the movie was very interesting to me. So I do give the writers credit for that. So Gabby Gabby is definitely uh, number 10 on my list for favorite villains of all time for Toy Story. Coming in at number nine, favorite villain is Benson. Very creepy. He's very cool to have as a toy. I don't think I would want to have Benson as a full life ventriloquist doll like the movie because it's a little too creepy for me but I can tolerate this Mattel action figure which is very cool in my collection. I do have another one hiding somewhere. I do have another one hiding somewhere. Don't know where he is so I gotta find him. <laughs> one of the most interesting things about Benson is he doesn't talk so that was one of the most uh, probably more scary things about him definitely as a villain. Coming in at number eight on my list would be the monkey. The monkey is creepy too, but also a very fun character. At the end, it seems like the monkey kind of chilled out and everybody was friends. But for the time being, the monkey was very creepy and the eye in the sky, as they said in the movie, because he would watch the cameras and watch everyone and alert everybody if somebody was trying to escape. So very cool. I definitely rate the monkey at number eight. One of my favorite villains for sure but going to be number eight rank. Coming in at number seven, I would rate Sparks as the next villain on my list. I do like Sparks as a character. Very interesting uh, personality. When, you know, when I was watching Lotso's gang, it was really cool. I love the design of the toy. It gives me a lot of retro nostalgia from like, you know, back then when robots was a big craze. And it's a very cool toy and it's cool to have it movie accurate scale so I'm glad Thinkway Toys made it and even though it's not 100% accurate it's just a little light bulb that blinks it's still very cool and I do love it in my collection and I'm very happy to have it. Coming in at number six my next favorite villain is Twitch again a very cool villain I love that the mouth moves when you press the head that is always cool he's a pretty mean character you know he said a lot of mean things in the in Toy Story 3 uh, very cool with the wings. Very creepy looking though. He's like a giant fly, which is kind of, I don't know, there's an ick factor to that for me. So he's not higher on the list for design, but I do appreciate the villain as part of Lotso's gang. Very unique and interesting. So he's he made the top 10 for sure. Coming in at number five, my next favorite villain from the Toy Story franchise is Chunk. Chunk is awesome. I love that he's kind of like this rocky kind of figure and you press a button and he changes expressions from mad to happy which is super fun and that play feature alone even though it's so simple is why i really love this character and plus the design and the shape of him he's just massively big and the color it's a really fun and bright villain so very cool and that's why he's higher on my list i just there's just something about him that i like a little bit more than the other lotso's gang villains Coming in at number four, my next favorite Toy Story villain in the franchise is Big Baby. I'm very proud of this Big Baby. I made this myself from old doll parts and I'm just very proud of it. I was even able to do the iMod half closed and do the markings on him, you know, with the pen and markers. So it's very cool. I just love Big Baby. He's very creepy in the movie too, kind of like the ventriloquist doll, like Benson. But there's something endearing about a baby villain and it's just kind of ironic. And comedic that a cute baby doll would be a bad person so I think that's why I like the comedic factor of this villain because it's just a big baby and but also a bad guy <laughs> so that's higher on my list I just I'm a big baby fan and that's why I made one for my collection because I could not have this as part of Lotso's gang for my Toy Story toy collection coming in at number three is Lotso hugging bear with custom cane that I did recently on this channel. I just love Lotso as a villain. It's a very strong character, you know? I, I love that at first Lotso is kind of like a nice pink bear, smells like strawberries, wants to be your best friend, wants a hug, but then you find out he's really a bad, bad bear. <laughs> and uh, that's also kind of like a play off of the big baby thing where it's like this cute cuddly thing becomes a villain. 
And so, yeah, Lato is a strong character, strong character villain, and definitely part of my top 10 all-time favorite villains at the number three spot. Taking the number two spot is Stinky Pete, mint in the box, never been opened. I just love Stinky Pete. He is part of the Roundup gang, and although he's really cool to look at, he is a bad, bad old man. And uh, But he's just a really, really unexpected villain. When I saw Toy Story 2, I never expected Stinky Pete to be the bad character, so that surprised me. Kind of like Gabby Gabby did in Toy Story. I wasn't too sure that she would be a villain, but Stinky Pete definitely is the most expensive custom mod in my collection at $1,000 cost to get this. But he talks, he's in a box, he's exactly like Toy Story 2, and I'm just so happy I have this custom. But besides that, I do like Stinky Pete as a character, but he took the number two spot as my all-time favorite villain in the Toy Story franchise. And my number one toy villain of the Toy Story franchise of all time is Zerg. Evil Emperor Zerg. He's just so epic, and I'm glad the Disney Store made him, even though I added my own custom uh, red cellophane paper there on the box and added some little ball spongy balls there for the blaster. I think it looks great. I'm just such a fan of Zerg. He reminds me of Darth Vader from Star Wars. He's also becomes Buzz's dad. I am your father, <laughs> just like Star Wars, which is really fun. It was cool to see Zerg again pop up for the Lightyear movie as a new addition. So that was cool to see. But Zerg is my number one favorite villain of all time. If I had to pick my favorite villain of the toys, it would be Zerg. Honorable mention is Stretch. I don't have a movie accurate size Stretch yet. I plan to get one this year at some point, but uh, didn't make the list. It just wasn't in my top 10 favorite toy villain, um, but that will probably change once I get a movie accurate Stretch, but I just wanted to mention that. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, see you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, now you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.